uh, this is Professor Golestane. I'd like to show you the uh, gas measurement experiment parameters that we're going to, in this experiment, we're going to determine the molar mass of several gases. So we're going to work with this syringe. It's a big syringe, 500 cc capacity, but I want to measure the volume of the syringe pretty precisely. So I don't know how much volume it really has, so I can't really totally trust the graduation, so I need more precision. So I'm going to fill this syringe with water, and I'm going to bring it to the 500 milliliter mark, so I'll know exactly where the line is. I'm going to fill it with water, and I'm going to fill it up to the point that is completely full, put the cap on, and weigh the syringe empty, and then fill with water. If you subtract the masses, you'll get the mass of water, and knowing the density of water, uh, we can calculate the volume of the syringe. So mass measurements are actually more reliable than volume measurements generally because the precision of balances are pretty good. Uh, I can probably get like five, four, six figure at least of measurements on this. So let's find out how we do this. So I haven't done this before. I'm going to just do it with you guys. Uh, haven't practiced before mainly for lack of time. And I want to get this video to you as soon as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and do this with you and we'll try to work it out. So uh, first thing you want to do is get the volume. So what we're going to do is basically suck water into this. So I want to get the mass, the empty syringe mass first. But I'm also going to use the little tip here because I'm going to fill it, put the tip back on, and then reweigh it with that. So let's get this uh, measurement. So, so here's the mass of the empty syringe. You can see that I have trapped some air into this, right? So you are getting the mass with this air inside. And that's the whole point of doing this because I want to find out what the volume of the empty syringe is and knowing the density of air, which I can calculate, knowing my pressure and temperature, I can calculate my density. And once I know the density of air and once I know the volume, of the syringe up to 500 milliliter mark, I can figure out the mass of the air that's trapped inside. And so I want to know how much air is inside so I can subtract it out of the mass of this. So if I put a new gas in, this gas could be an unknown gas or say carbon dioxide, which I'm gonna measure, you can now reweigh the syringe and have the mass of syringe and the gas and subtract it from the mass of the truly empty syringe to get the mass of the gas. Are you with me? So there's air trapped inside. I want to subtract and find how much air is inside. We'll subtract the mass out. So we, we weighed that. So you had that mass there. So let's go ahead and fill it with the 500 ml, to the 500 milliliter mark. So. So I already, I already have a little problem here because there's air trapped here. I don't want that. Uh, in order to prevent that, I kind of thought about having this tubing. So the tubing actually came with the syringe. So this might make it a little easier. When I bought this syringe, I was surprised the tubing came with it. And the procedure on the tubing was giving instruction on how to empty stomach contents. Apparently this tubing has like several holes here. So it's somehow to be inserted in someone's uh, esophagus and, and once it makes it to the stomach, you can con empty out the content of the stomach. For sure, I'm not going to use it for that purpose. I'm not trained for that and I don't have a need for it. But, so I'm just going to use it for the gas aspect. But I was surprised it came with this. So let's go ahead and do this. And 
need. I want to make sure that this is totally um, filled with water. So basically what I'm doing, this problem is this tubing keeps coming to the surface and I need to weigh it down. So I'm just going to put the scissors onto the end of it. Like I said, it's like it has several holes in it. So this way you would... Okay, so my tubing is completely filled right now. So I'm going to remove this tip and expel my air out. So I got the air out. Now put this back on and fill it again. So you know, a little bit more air in it. So this was a lot a little harder, not a lot, a little harder than what I what I originally thought, but I think we can do it. So here I expel the air this way and sucking this back. So there you go. So there's no air now trapped in here. So you can see the tubing is at the bottom of the water. So there's no air. So now I am basically sucking it. So imagine if this was in someone's stomach, you'd be emptying out the contents. I suppose it's good for someone who has food poisoning or a bad case of some you know, poison that you have to empty it out of the person's body. This is the way you do it. But I wouldn't know how to insert it. Making sure that it goes in the right tube is the hard part probably. So water takes more effort. I'm putting a lot of force on this. Uh, so it's not as easy as sucking air into it. Okay, there you go. So I am right on the black line here. The rubber uh, line, rubber is making a black line here. And my black 500 ml mark line is just right on it. So that's good. And now I'm going to have this, this ready for the weight. So let's go ahead and take this off. So I'm going to take this off. Okay, there you go. So this is done. Okay, there's a tiny bit of air which I don't think in the 500 milliliter it will make any difference. Well, here is the empty mass, so I guess I don't need this yet because I have to empty the water back in here. So it's emptied out. Now I want to inject this into this. Okay, there it is. So I have my water here. This is the mass of the water in the container. So please record that. 498.63 grams. So you see we have like five significant digits of measurements for mass. So knowing the density and the five sig fig, you can get really good results of uh, volume here. Okay, so you recorded that, so you're good with that. Now I want to do a quick, quick measurement of density. So let's go ahead and do that as well. So I, this would, this would make the, the reading very reliable for you. So here is a clean pipette. And I want to measure, um, let's say, 5 milliliters. That's good enough. 5 milliliters of this water into that. So let's zero the mass. And based on the 5 milliliter, which is actually 5.00, because it's a good pipette, has good precision. And uh, based on that, and based on the, vo uh, the mass that you're going to see, you can get a density relationship. So let's go ahead and take, it doesn't take long to do this density measurement. So let's go ahead and weigh, pour out 5 ml into this. Okay, so I got my, uh, oops, I got my volume. I had it set to 0. So there it is. So record this mass. This is the mass of 5.00 milliliters of water. 
after this we are ready to do our measurement of the gases okay. now you can get the measurement uh, calculate your density after watching the video and calculate the volume of this uh, water that I sucked into here that's how much you can do so far okay so that's it for now